in order to analyze feedback, we're going to use what are called two-port network parameters to aid in figuring out what the loading from the feedback network is on the amplifier circuit, and also to figure out what the feedback factor beta is. Now we'll use four different types of feedback parameters, starting with Z parameters. And Z parameters are the most common parameters, and they are used for our transconductance amplifiers. Remember, transconductance amps are amplifiers that have an input voltage and an output current. And so what we're going to do with a transconductance amplifier for feedback is sense a voltage at the output, or sorry, sense a current at the output and feedback a voltage. That's why we'll use Z parameters. Okay, Z parameters are given by the following expression. Okay, so what we're doing is multiplying an impedance matrix by a current matrix in order to find a voltage matrix. In other words, what we're trying to do is find the parameters of this unknown network uh, to figure out what the network does to input voltages and input currents. In order to figure out what any one of these parameters are, we have to isolate the other parameter. For instance, we can find Z11 by setting the solution equal to V1 over I1 when I2 is equal to 0. Similarly, we could find Z12 by finding V1 over I2 when I1 is equal to 0. For I1 or I2 to equal 0, all we need to do is leave the port 1 or port 2 open, depending upon what we're looking for. One thing to note here is that Z11 is the input impedance of the, uh, the two-port network, uh, which we're going to use as the feedback network, and Z12 is our feedback factor. This is equal to beta in the transconductance amplifier. And in fact, all of the 1, 2 parameters in the networks and, and parameter sets that we're going to look at are equal to beta. Y parameters are very similar to Z parameters. We are just going to invert the solution for voltage and current. Of course, these parameters are used for trans-resistance amplifiers. If we want to find Y11, for instance, Y11 is equal to I1 over V1 when V2 is equal to 0. Y12 would be equal to I1 over V2 when V1 is equal to 0. To make V2 or V1 equal to 0, all we need to do is either short port 2 or port 1, respectively. And they're used for voltage amplifiers. These are hybrid because they involve a voltage and a current on either side of this matrix expression. Of course, we can do the same type of thing to isolate the parameters. For instance, if we want H11, H11 is equal to V1 divided by I1 when V2 is equal to 0. H12 would be equal to V1 divided by V2 when I1 is equal to 0. 
and we can isolate the other parameters doing similar algebra. G parameters are for current amplifiers. And these are the opposite of H parameters in, a, in the sense that we have I1 and V2 at the output. We have our G matrix. And we have V1 and I2. And similarly, we can isolate G11 and G12. Okay, in all of these, we're going to need to find only the 1-1 one, one parameter, which will represent the loading effect that the feedback network has at the input of the amplifier, the 2-2 two, two parameter, which will represent the loading that the amplifier has at the output, or sorry, that the feedback has at the output, and the 1-2 parameter, which is beta in all cases. We can generally ignore the 2-1 parameter for all of these, and we'll do a few examples in, just a, in the next set of slides.